I will fucking end you. I have worked as a mercenary in the past abroad. In the real world, things like that. In fact, I have chicks telling me they think I'm ripped in person. What the fuck are you talking about? I am trained in my fighting. Mass versus height, I'm actually just as big as Ryback. Right this photo, he is actually smaller than I am. You draw. Because I'm not some pussy who is afraid to confront people directly. You had your mother call me and talk to me on your behalf, and you know that her and I had a lengthy conversation. We talked for over 30 minutes. Completely clean criminal record. I have never been arrested. I've have you seen me keeping people's driver licenses at AR-15 point? Haven't you seen those videos? They're out there. You got to get my before you get the fuck out of here. Greg, do you understand that if you pop off to me man to man the way that you did, I'd probably slap you in the mouth? <laughs> city bitch, Glock, Glock, City bitch, 10, 10, 10, 10, 40s, and then 45s, bitch. Oh. Okay, how can we uh, cut the population in half in this region over here? Harmful and psychopathic. I actually know something about advanced interrogation techniques. I used to do snatch and grabs and interrogate people out in the field as a contract, but I used to do 500 pounds on that lift. I've had people quit my channel over thinking I have the loose that I don't even have. That's not how it works. Founded up every one of their citizens living in our country and executed them on public television and then fired multiple nuclear warheads at that country. Here, you die, nobody cares. You are a piece of shit. It's an animal. You either need to be in a cage or in a hole in the ground. Killing other people if they just so much as approach him will kill us. That is what he has said. Why don't you just admit that you're a big fat fake? I'm gonna admit that. So What's up guys, Alex from Jesus Fitness Channel. I'll hit you with an attack you won't be able to destroy. <laughs> Welcome to today's video, Jason Blaha, the Iceberg of Filth. Today I'm going to cover the worst stuff that he's done. One where I include proof and footage of these events. Haven't you seen all the videos of me running people off with an AR from my home? Have you seen me keeping people's driver licenses at AR-15 point? Haven't you seen those videos? They're out there. All these brothers showing up at my house. In short, I don't think anybody should follow or support this person. This is based on all the things that he's done throughout his life and on YouTube. This list is vast and I had to select the worst things with the best examples of that behavior. In short, there's evidence that Blaha has done the following. Abused animals, supported pedophilia, advocated for genocide, advocated for eugenics. He's a complete racist, by the way. Committed stolen valor threatened to kill veterans, threatened to kill people and their families, gave dangerous gun safety advice, celebrates people's death, terrible fitness advice, is a complete hypocrite, a pathological liar, is untrustworthy, lies about having disabilities and medical conditions, and projects his own misdeeds onto other people. Quite the list there, right? Believe me, it could be far fucking longer. However, I don't want this video to be three hours long. I want this to be a one-stop shop where people can see the worst of his behavior. Disclaimer, don't go harass him. Don't harass people who follow him. I'll note my sources in these videos. My channel, because this is a YouTube channel. I'm not writing any more research papers for professors. I don't cite my fucking sources. Not everything is proven as well as the fake Merck saga is. However, there is enough evidence to strongly suggest that what I'm saying is true. This evidence is publicly available. In my opinion, Jason is a mentally ill person. I strongly suspect him of being on the antisocial personality disorder spectrum. This obviously isn't a medical diagnosis, but I strongly suspect him of being either a sociopath or a psychopath. Kind of leaning towards psychopathy, to be honest. I have to imagine he's just a giant rat's nest of personality disorders at this point. Trust me, I'll make an armchair psychology video on our boy Hemingway in the future. <laughs> All right, let's start out with the animal abuse. This is the most upsetting of all these to me. Jason has bragged about abusing animals on Elite Fitness. This is on a self-admitted sock account. There's even worse, but I can't definitively tie them to him. This is also backed up about what his ex-wife said about his cat. There's also some compelling evidence that Jason was responsible for his dog's death uh, due to simple negligence. Moon Cookie and Jason rescued a dog named Nova during the Houston floods whom Jason kept and shortly let die after his breakup when uh, Jason went on holiday, leaving the dog alone without food or water for days. Indeed, Jason's first wife, Anna, said that Jason abused their cat. It was alleged that Jason loved to put a sock over the cat's head and spin it around repeatedly. It could be he said, she said, but you get the picture. 
This isn't limited to just cats either. Jason Moon Cookie had a dog named Nova. Jason claims that Alex Rosen murdered his dog. They try to press charges. I know who killed my dog. It's a guy named Alex Rosen. He admitted to it. But I couldn't get him arrested for it. Um, and I pressed charges against a guy for trespassing and other stuff already before. But yeah, he had, he admitted to it online. He actually murdered my dog. He broke into his apartment and poisoned his dog. He claims to have quote-unquote evidence of this, yet he's never shown any of this evidence. Sounds a lot like slander to me, Hoss. According to Jen, this wasn't the case. Jen is a woman with whom Jason was flying out to have romantic rendezvous with. Apparently during one of these sordid sojourns, Nova became sick during it. Jason left his current roommate, Joni, to take care of his dog. According to Jen, Nova became sick and Joni let him know about it. Jason wasn't at all concerned about this, according to Jen. What Jen says, is that when Jason returned home, Nova was lying in a pile of bloody diarrhea. Apparently, Jason took the dead or dying dog and threw him in the trash. Now Nova, she has told us that she was the reason for him to fly there and leave Nova alone. She knows. She was with him, so to speak, for four and a half years. So she got to know him probably better than anyone. The dog inside may be a bowl of water and a bowl of food. So he left the dog alone. He left the dog. And when he came back, this is what she said he said. There was blood and diarrhea everywhere because the dog was probably so terrified that it was being left alone for days on end. You know, it got anxiety, started panicking, stress, you know, stress kicked in came back there was diarrhea and blood everywhere yeah diarrhea and blood everywhere the thing was dying and um, it turns out that he put a dying dog just straight in the dumpster we have records from Jen W stating this that he put the dog that wasn't dead, it was a dying dog in absolute agony, just put it in the dumpster to finish him, to die alone, in panic, in fear. I mean, absolutely, absolutely disgusting. But finding out that he put a dying dog in a dumpster to die in agony and fear, that is just the new low for me I mean I knew he was a piece of shit but that is probably the worst thing you could ever hear to hear someone put a terrified dying dog just in a dumpster to finish it let it die alone in a dumpster now I'll admit, at first I thought the story was exaggerated. After all, this is all according to Jen. Jen is somebody, let's say, I don't find to be overly credible. However, in digging through forum posts, I found the following post. Yep, Jason said it was okay to huck a dead dog in the trash decades before any of this came to light. Once again, most of this is based off of what Jen said. We don't know this for an absolute fact. However, when you look at the totality of evidence, I find this to be likely. Even more alarming is the fact that you can now hear a dog barking in the background of Jason's new videos, meaning that him and his new roommate, who's accused of murder, have a new dog. This sickens me and I truly feel bad for this poor creature. To me, this is the worst of all of Jason's misdeeds. There are more stories as well on self-emitted sock accounts by Jason. Apparently, he wrote a pony to death. He also kidnapped a duck. I mean, come on. I don't know what the fuck else to say on this topic. Trust me, this is going to get its own video in the future. The key to defeating you is to obliterate you so completely your regeneration won't be possible. Woo! All right.
right, next we're moving into pedophilia. This is something that, once again, is absolutely fucking disgusting. Jason has made many posts about pedophilia on forums. Jason also claims to have been molested by his aunt and uncle when he was younger. There are many posts from him online about this. However, myself and others have doubts about Jason's claims. However, to start, Jason said it was a part of a satanic alien ritual or some fucking nonsense. He also said that there are police reports about it. He says that he's pressed charges against his aunt and uncle. However, when I search, nothing from this comes up. Now, we don't know for sure whether or not he's lying about it. This happening would explain some of his current behavior. However, Jason is also a pathological liar. Thus far, I've seen no corroborating evidence to support his story. It is possible that Jason made up this story to excuse his own behavior. I mean, look at the myriad of pedophilia posts that he's made. Jason has also made a video where he appears to defend men being attracted to underage girls. Reasons women, for example, are hitting puberty at a younger age than they ever had. They are reaching the ability to menstruate, to have children, everything else at a younger age than was previously normal. Uh, in fact, at one time, it wasn't unusual for uh, women to not reach puberty until the ages of 15, sometimes 16. You know, they'd be in high school by the time they hit puberty sometimes. Uh, there's a lot of theories going on. It has to do with everything from birth control to <laughs> hormones in the water, hormones in our food, uh, xenoestrogens from pollution. There's a whole host of theories, and it's probably a combination of them as to why sexual maturity is being reached younger. And just like a friend of mine posted up on a, as a joke on Facebook, this girl who looked like she was 20 with fully developed breasts and everything, saying, yeah, I just turned 14, you know, showing her picture. And he's like, it's getting dangerous out there. Uh, and that's because there's that going on. And here's the problem we run into. It is your body's going to respond to the pheromones of someone um, who you, if you're a straight male, for example, and you're exposed to the pheromones of a girl who is not of the legal age, who is ovulating or whatever, she's going to produce pheromones that might cause sexual attraction. You can't control that. To me, this looks like a classic case of projection, something that is ubiquitous with Jason's behavior. There are also the Farmington allegations as well. What has been alleged is that Jason did something with an underage girl when he lived in Farmington, New Mexico with his family. I've found multiple mentions of it online. However, thus far, nothing's been proven. I don't see any real concrete evidence on it. What I'm going to end this section with is the post about his niece. He said he wanted to bring her, or was going to bring her, to an online bodybuilding forum when she was 12 or something. Keep in mind, this is a forum where people have nude photos as avatars, post dick pics, something that Jason did a lot on there, and there's all sorts of fucking degeneracy on there. To me, this signifies that he either did or he wanted to groom his niece. Needless to say, this is fucking disgusting. It should also be noted that Jason has been disowned by most of his family, but we'll get back to that later. Why haven't we gathered up all the Saudi Arabia nationals in this country. We did it with Japan. We did Japan. We took away everyone's basic rights. We can't claim that people have rights when they're the enemy or you think they're the enemy. What do we do to the Japanese Americans who were born here of Japanese descent? We put them all in internment camps just for being the children of people from Japan who had no sympathies with that country. We just needed to watch them. We put them into camps. Well, we know Saudi Arabia is the enemy. We know they're the enemy. Why aren't we uh, doing something about their nationals in our country? Why aren't we putting them into camps or shipping them back, deporting them, putting them in the camps, doing something about them? We should have seized all Saudi Arabian assets in this country, declared war on Saudi Arabia, rounded up every one of their citizens living in our country and executed them on public television and then fired multiple nuclear warheads at that country. We should have destroyed them. We should have literally wiped that goddamn country off the map. They should have gotten nukes, and we should have executed every single citizen of their country sitting in our country and seized all of their assets. We did it before with Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and I think that was the right choice then, and I think it's the right choice now to do the right to kill them. Their lives belong to us the moment they cross that border to do with as we please from a legal perspective. They are in our country illegally. If we want to shoot them in the head, we can do that. It's beautiful. And that's exactly what we should do to the ones we catch who can't work. They're not capable of working that 10 years and fine, just get rid of them. You know, nine millimeter bullet to the head in a ditch, problem solved. 
We can let them pick between execution or 10 years indentured servitude. You could so we could put collars around their neck with a little small explosive device. If they try to tie the collar off, run too far from a sensor, or if they try to rebel or become aggressive, you give the uh, wardens the ability to press the button and detonate it. Screw them. We're clearly the superior ones and they're only trying to denigrate us because they're scared of us. Maybe we need to just get rid of all of them. And like I said, we could arguably justify using the other first world countries that are out there. There are countries that if you're caught inside their country illegally, they execute you. Okay? We could get away with that if we put up a memo 30 days ahead of time and English, Spanish, several other languages, letting them know they got 30 days to vacate the country. Genocide, eugenics, and racism. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this part brief. NH did a full hour long video on this. Jason has written for the KKK, made lots of racist posts, racist videos, etc. He's never fucking apologized for this, by the way. Just recently, Jason said that he's never written anything racist under a comment. However, Jason has taken it much further than just some racist writings. Called for all Saudi Arabians in America to be killed on public television. He's fantasized about torturing Muslims and then feeding them to the pigs. We're the type of people, we're not even going to give you a clean death. We are the type of people that would be like, hey, fuck this Haji. I'm going to shoot him in the gut at 300 yards and let him bleed out for a little while. And then when he's too weak to fight back, me and my friends are going to go pick him up and have a little fun with him and make him fucking talk before we feed him to the pigs. Go over to the Middle East and start nuking him ourselves. We'll probably start with Mecca and then... Again, Texas being Texas, when the outrage in the Muslim world goes up, any city that we see burning a Texas flag will probably nuke them too. Wanted to cull third world population. Wanted to enslave illegal immigrants. I mean, this guy is absolutely fucking sick. I could go on about this forever, but honestly, it's been discussed and proven so many times over. I think Jason's own words on this topic speak for themselves. with everything you've got! Stolen Valor and Threats to Veterans. All right, once again, I'm gonna try and keep this fucking brief. I've done an entire video on this, and so many videos have been done on this. Jason pretended to have been a former military contractor. He swore on his mother's grave that he was a military contractor. He had channels deleted who exposed his lies on this. When called out by veterans, he made a video said that he'd kill them if they approached him. Once you start uh, saying you'll kill any veteran that has been to uh, war to protect everything you take for granted. He also said he'd kill Don Shipley. Obviously, nobody believed his lies about mercenary work. He had a firearms channel where he gave dangerous firearms advice. Some of this advice is still up, by the way. Years later, he said he was just trolling about all this, guys. Then years after that, he finally admitted it was all a lie and kind of apologized. To me, this apology is inadequate and he needs to address the specific things that he's done during this alarm, such as getting people's channels deleted, the threats he made, etc. I'll leave this here. There's already a lot of fucking videos on this. I'll let evolution take its course they want to bolster and keep certain populations alive and cultures and uh, nations growing all over the world instead of just letting evolution take its course and let them die out on their own so that we're left with whatever's best so that whoa where did that come from way to go that shot was incredible vegeta Threats of violence. Jason has threatened to kill many people. You can go on his channel and you can listen to him talk about killing me, killing Lane Norton, killing Lane Norton's family, and killing other people if they just so much as approach him, he will kill us. That is what he has said. He made a threat to kill Lane Norton and his family. Of a bitch threatened my wife and my, my son about a, about a year and a half ago. He put on Facebook that he would take my family out as revenge for whatever. He's threatened to kill Callie Muscle, Jerry Ward, etc. This list could fucking go on forever. He's committed armed robbery on video and then upload the footage online. He's not a good person. Callie's not a good person. He's another thug. He's an animal. He either needs to be in a cage or in a hole in the ground. And his behavior 
Well, you know what? Plenty of internet stuff's come to real life for me. Haven't you seen all the videos of me running people off with an AR from my home? Have you seen me keeping people's driver licenses at AR-15 point? Haven't you seen those videos? They're out there. All these brothers showing up at my house. Pick it up as a front office to mine. You're trespassing. Put your shit on the floor. I don't hear about your money. Just your fucking ID. Hey, man. Who the fuck sent you here? He's a six motherfucker. I've done this too. Hey, sorry. Five, six. Sorry. Here we are. I'm terribly sorry. Who, where did you come from? Huh? Who sent you? It was, a, it was, a, it was an ad. An ad for what? This is a, a female, man. A female? Yeah. It no, no, no. What, someone puts you here in front of you? No, no, no. I apologize, I won't be back. I'm serious. All right, better get the fuck out of here. No, you've got your ID on before you get the fuck out of here. He's wandered a parking lot looking for trolls to kill. This Take what? I'm taking footage right now. Live video. Where's this fucking pussy? Come on, dude. I don't think we're gonna find our puss puss. I say we squeeze the people we already know. Fuck it. Fucker said that he would be right here in 20 minutes. Right here. here. That was the camera angle. Nowhere to be seen. Maybe they parked over here. But I didn't even come out with a rifle. Look, I don't have a rifle. All I have is a pistol. Where's this fucking pussy? What's he fucking here, scared of? He's, got, he's got a pistol. He's got a pistol. He showed it. That's all I got. I got a pistol. And I didn't put my armor back on. I didn't put a rifle on. Pussy ass stalkers. Dude, every one, every one of these people who talk shit about me on the internet are pussy as fuck, and they're not real. They're not real. I came out here when the dude said he would be here, ready to blow his fucking brains out. Blow his motherfucking brains out, legally, because he's stalking. I wouldn't do a day in jail for it. This is very disturbing, especially for someone who owns weapons. He recently pulled out his Glock on a live stream. I have I have 45 both. I own handguns in both. Um, Usually for carry, I like 9 millimeter, but just around the house, I prefer 45 for just enough to have around. This is 45 federally just to get it. How he hasn't had his gun seized, I have no fucking clue to be honest. In my opinion, he's a danger to himself and others. Also, his roommate is currently awaiting trial for murder. Once again, how the fuck are their firearms where they're living? I'm fucking flabbergasted about this. He's called for members of Congress and their entire family's lines to be executed. So, I think in the future, when you have a group in Congress and the Senate who can't come up with a balanced budget, they can't balance the budget, we should automatically, we as the taxpayers need to vote this in, they should automatically all be executed. All their families executed as a form of revolution. Since they can't handle, budget our money correctly and they can't come up with a budget or any year in which they do not balance the budget in which we're already 20 trillion in debt. We can't borrow any more money. That's it. If they want to borrow a single penny to pay for anything, if they can't balance the budget, if they go over it by one penny, execute all of them, all of their offspring, all their children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, wipe their entire family line out as punishment. You do that one time and then we hold emergency. Uh, if they can't balance the budget, he wanted them to be executed. I'm pretty sure this is a fucking crime, and I don't know how the fuck he's gotten away with all this. All right, gun safety. He's given absolutely fucking stupid gun safety advice. A lot of people would say, but Jason, you're supposed to always assume a firearm is loaded. And I'm going to say to you that no, that is not true. That is what you tell small children who you're first teaching how to shoot and complete noobs who've never picked up a weapon. He doesn't know the basic principles around handling a weapon, such as treat every gun as if it was loaded. Don't wave around a loaded gun in an apartment complex, you dickhead. Anyone with even perfunctory knowledge of firearms should know better than to do this. But he wanted to open a tactical school. He said that children weren't strong enough to rack an AR-15. More nonsense from him. So, you know, he's gone back to Texas. He's got his hands on some weapons, you know, because you have the Second Amendment. And, um... You know, it's just crazy that someone like this could get their hands on this sort of weaponry. 
you know, and this is a this is an interesting video I found. This is examples of veterans with bad habits as civilians. No, no magazine in a rifle indoors, right? So this is this is actually Blaha, who's never been a sharpshooter at a thousand yards and all that bull crap that he made up. Never been a mercenary. Yeah, he later on confessed he was just trolling. Yeah, never been a mercenary, never in the powder wars, never did a snatch and grab. Yeah, but this lunatic has managed to get him himself some weapons. And uh, he's obvious to anyone who, <laughs> who's, who's watched even a few firearms channels that this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yep, yeah, it's obvious. Um, but he, in this video, proceeds, his own video by looks things, yeah, his own video proceeds to tell veterans and military personnel that they are wrong and he is right. Yep. Yeah? So someone contacted him who was an ex vet and they said you shouldn't have a loaded weapon or a magazine in your rifle around people indoors. Yep. Yeah? If you're in a building, you shouldn't have it, you know, ready to kill someone. Shouldn't have this thing loaded up, ready to go. Yep, it's a safety thing. But he, in this video, tells him, after he said he banned him, because <laughs> that's what he does, anyone disagreeing with him and telling him the truth and uh, correcting him on his mistakes, he will ban them. Yeah. So after he banned him, he then thought about it and he says he, he doesn't know how to unban him, but uh, he goes on to tell military personnel that he knows better than them. Yep. Listen to this. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Today I'll talk about something that uh, I think is kind of amusing, it's something I hadn't thought of, probably needs to be addressed, and I apologize I banned a guy for it, because basically when people get in an argument with me and make stupid arguments with me, I tend to ban them and not think about it, and I don't really know how to unban people, but it was a veteran who came in and told me that I should not have a magazine in my weapon inside the building. And then they were in the military, that's not how they did it. And guys, this is stuff that people need to step back and think. Because people follow orders and traditions and things they learn in their life without thinking through whether it's a good idea or smart or not or why that thing originated. It is a great idea inside of a military base around a bunch of guys who might be trigger happy, you know, young bucks who just come out of basic and they're gung ho and everything to not have magazines in their weapons sometimes. Why? Because they're not going to be attacking the base. There's no situation in the base where you're only going to have 10 or 15. So he's saying young guys who've just come out of basic training, uh, who are trigger happy and, you know, they're a risk. But someone like Laha with years of uh, experience, fantasy experience, knows better. He's not a risk. <laughs> Seconds to get a weapon ready or less. It's realistically going to happen inside of a military base. You have uh, guards, whether it's stateside or abroad, you have scouts, guards, uh, armed guards all around the perimeter. You're further inside. You're going to have time to get a magazine in your weapon if you need it. When you are in your home, you're not always going to have time to get a magazine in your weapon. And also, because you're not trigger happy in your house all the time, you don't have dozens of guys who might get in fights with each other occasionally, to where you need that extra few seconds. What does he think goes on in a military base? He's saying there's armed guards, there's sentries, and uh, there are guys in there who might get into fights with each other. What films has he been watching? <laughs> He's never been in a military base in his life. He's just seen it in a video. <laughs> what a loser seconds to cool off before they put a magazine in a weapon, you don't have the same sort of risk. And people who are intelligent are often like this, I don't keep this rifle chamber. You put a magazine in there, this weapon is perfectly safe. It can't do anything. If you know this, I can even tell it's not chambered. It won't go on safe. You pull this trigger all day long, nothing's going to happen. This weapon isn't loaded. It has a magazine, you have to load it. I'll tell you, your little child can't grab this AR-15. Do this. They can't do that to get one in the chamber. Not a child know. can't do that, apparently, because Blaha knows best. How to do it, they're not going to be strong enough to do it most of the time. The child, this is a perfectly safe weapon in the main way I had it set up. So, he's saying you could leave this weapon with a magazine of live rounds in 
just on the sofa there and a young child maybe a, a teenager 10 year old 11 year old 12 year old they couldn't pick that up pull back the uh, the, the chamber here the, la the loading mechanism and fire it so this is perfectly safe to leave with a magazine in with live rounds in it perfectly safe around children <laughs> 10 year olds <laughs> who would pick that up who would pull that back and who would probably kill someone accidentally because this idiot left a gun an assault rifle with a magazine full of live rounds on a sofa perhaps with children around this is Jason Blaha <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it this is just so stupid it makes my fucking head hurt then he deleted the comments of veterans telling them that he's wrong on this he's also laughed at people who've accidentally shot themselves saying it's karma Darwinism he wished that the one cop that shot themselves didn't just injure themselves that he took it further if they accidentally shoot themselves, the world hasn't lost anything too big. And in the case of this guy, since he feels most people shouldn't own firearms, well, that would be the same thing. Unfortunately, though, he survived. This video is still fucking up, by the way. Thank God he was exposed as the fucking fake merc. Can you imagine this dipshit giving firearms and tactical advice? As a side note, he recently just laughed about his stepmom dying. Well, I probably need to wind this vlog down. I had to pause it in the middle of a uh, recording. I just got some... Uh, interesting family news uh so again i probably won't be able to think about this vlog a whole lot more it's not necessarily bad stuff but uh again interesting uh so i won't be able to make any more videos today i'm in my mind on other things fitness advice plain and simple jason just gives terrible fucking fitness advice he doesn't grasp the basic principles of lifting he's pretty much flip-flopped on everything he's tried every fad diet at this point He's tried keto for a week, then a few days later, he's espousing the benefits of high-carb diets. He's lifted the same amount for a decade now in competition. This is all while training as his full-time job, while being on steroids for a decade. I mean, to me, this speaks for its fucking self. Only a failure abandons his principles and pride. Do you actually think I'd let you stop me? Hypocrisy and lies. Jason is a pathological liar. Some of his most notable lies are as follows. Ate 13 large Domino's pizzas in an eating contest. A lot of reverse grip bench pressing. It really brought my triceps up a lot. And I used to do 500 pounds on that lift. 500 pound reverse bench press. 475 pounds for a double. I could squat 585 for a triple without having to white belts and two different styles of martial arts with it. Two black belts, having reptilian blood, being a teenage Illuminati assassin, being a mercenary, running marathons, having. I did a couple of marathons, yeah. You have medals for it? Nope. Doing a marathon makes you a distance runner, but it doesn't make you a good distance runner. <laughs> but Jason, like. All right, my mom has done a few marathons. She has medals just for finishing, and she's right. slow as shit. Right. So, where's your medals at? I don't have any medals. over a dozen threesome. Trust me, this list could fucking go on forever. As mentioned, Jason is a pathological liar, and to this day, he just won't stop fucking lying. If this doesn't make him untrustworthy, then I don't know what does. Fucking little snake. Absolute little snake. Little devious. Still lying. Still s Still snaking around, snake like rat, snake. Oh my god, this guy infuriates me. <laughs> He's also been a hypocrite and flip-flopped on virtually everything. At one point, and this is all according to him, he was a liberal vegan who was a Greenpeace member. I am a vegetarian who is mostly vegan. I am against eating meat ethically. And because I'm a member of Greenpeace, which a lot of my subscribers actually know. But then a few years later, he's a super right-wing, badass, meat-eating Texan. In one post, he said he wouldn't celebrate Osama bin Laden's death. Then a few years later, he's calling for the genocide of all Muslims. He's jumped from one polar extreme to another throughout his life. In my opinion, he has no core convictions. He only cares about himself. He will change his views if he thinks it will benefit him. And when he saw me sick in bed, he came to visit me, and keep in mind, he didn't help me out. This is not someone who gave me money. My father's worth millions. He didn't give me a penny. He looked at me when I was sick and told me 
um, basically that I needed to warrior the fuck up and pull myself up by the goddamn bootstraps. Claim disabilities. Jason has claimed that he was debilitated by Meniere's disease and couldn't work because of it. However, according to his ex-wife, no doctor was able ever to find anything wrong with him. According to her, he just sat around all day and played World of Warcraft. She was working at the time and he wouldn't even do the dishes. While claiming these same disability benefits, he was powerlifting in the UK. I have no sense of balance medically. So I'm not supposed to be able to walk in a straight line, but I'm not supposed to be walking without a cane. I'm not supposed to be standing without a cane. His girlfriend disputes this and says, I bought it at the medical supply store, no prescription. He asked specifically for that kind of cane. He wanted a pimp cane. Doesn't seem like the two add up, huh? What if he had a vertigo attack or something while he was squatting? He also says he has a congenital heart condition that runs in his family. I made a video telling you guys I was probably not going to compete in powerlifting again due to a possible medical issue, the same thing that killed my mother. I didn't go into all the details, but there's a heart issue there. And it turns out my sister and I both have the gene for that same heart issue that killed my mother at age 48. And accordingly, having looked into it, I've been advised medically that I need to avoid things like really high rep squats and possibly really high rep deadlifts. I can do a lot of higher rep upper body work, but those things I need to avoid maxes, which I do, and I need to avoid the really high rep fatiguing ones that push me to the limit. I'm also avoiding hit cardio says he has to avoid high reps on lower body movements and has to avoid one rep maxes. Then a few years later, every other workout seems like it's one rep max. Claims he has a 147 IQ but can't spell properly. He also claimed his dad has an IQ of 180, by the way. Claimed that he has some sort of spelling slash learning disorder. Said he made straight A's throughout college, but he has no degree to show for it. In my opinion, he was most likely kicked out of college for plagiarism in the first semester. Claimed to have multiple personality disorder. This one I actually believe, to be honest. I'm positive. I have not had any episodes of dissociative fugue in about six weeks. No mention of it is late though. Also, hashtag not bald guys. Claims that he has undulating hearing. In all honesty, gang, I think I've collected around 20 things that he's claimed. Some of them may be true, others might not be. Really, it's impossible to know with him because he's just such a fucking liar. He contradicts himself on many of these. There's an entire video discussing his quote-unquote Meniere's disease. Apparently, it's impossible to prove whether or not somebody has this with medical tests, thus meaning that you have to take people at their word for it with self-reporting their symptoms. This is my understanding about it, at least. Ergo, making it a go-to for people who wish to commit disability fraud. We can't definitively prove this one way or the other. However, in my opinion, his actions don't match him actually having this disease, which is fucked up because there are people that actually suffer from this disease. Looking at everything that we know about Blaha, I think that it was likely for him to make this disease up as a way to get disability benefit. However, like I said, we don't know this for sure. I'll let you make up your own minds about this. Projection. Jason is known for projecting his own actions and misdeeds onto other people. I think there is evidence of this with the whole pedophilia thing. He constantly likes to call other people gay. This is why he's made many posts that, well, could be considered well within this realm. Disclaimer, there's obviously nothing wrong with being gay. I'm merely pointing out the projection and hypocrisy here. Jason likes to hurl homophobic slurs at other people. I'm not going into his specifics on his actions, by the way. Check out episode 21 and 22 of the fake Merck life lessons if you want to see more. There are other videos about this which detail. In 2011 he wrote, My sister and I lost a ball to these mean old people whose backyard was opposite ours. The old man popped our beach ball from the pool. Two weeks later we found a dead stiff squirrel on the ground, loaded it into their mailbox. After the mail came with a foam cushion behind it, we then sat in the bushes at the next house over, watching and waiting. When he opened the mailbox to check it, the dead squirrel shot out and hit him in the neck, and fell down his shirt. He fell over yelling and clutching his chest. Fortunately, it wasn't a heart attack, we found out later. We ran off squealing with laughter. Oh, sweet revenge. I find this post ironic because uh, just recently he claimed that people were mailing dead animals to him, sending him all kinds of nasty stuff in the mail, according to him. Maybe he just made it up because it's something he used to do himself. Uh, but I think probably it's a made up story as always. But uh, this shows his kind of mindset, that he thinks it's funny to send uh, dead animals to people in the mail. And so when he claimed that people are harassing him, 
physically. He also claimed that uh, there was a bomb threat to his house and he said people are sending dead animals to him, but he never showed it in any video. So it's very likely he simply makes it all up. Tell this. Another piece of fascinating projection that I find, he talks about putting dead animals in people's mailboxes on forum. Then he says that somebody else did this to him. I've yet to see any evidence of this actually happening to him. Once again, the projection list could go on forever. Anyone that knows Blaha knows that this is germane to his personality. All right, let's start to wrap this up. This is not an all-encompassing list by any means. Once again, this person has been disowned by their family. This was well before he was on YouTube and the whole fake Merc saga. There's a whole lot more that I could have mentioned that I didn't. This is for several reasons. First being that I don't have evidence to support all these claims or that the evidence hasn't been made public yet. Trust me, there's a lot more hiding underneath the surface with him. There's also the question of time. Myself and NH have made 20 something episodes about the fake Merc apiece, which are both obviously about fictional characters, right guys? BKVDM has made even more on him than either of us have. Shadow Man has dozens of videos on him as well. I can't find most of Shadow Man's videos, but I'd love to see his older work on him. Deep Purple has uncovered a lot about him and has plenty of material on Jason. Vegan Gains has done his own series on him. Elgin used to roast him in his Gym Idiot series videos. By the way, Elgin, I hold you responsible for this. If it wasn't for your videos, I never would have heard about Blaha. Exposed TV did a lot of great videos on him as well. Believe it or not, there's a lot fucking more. This rabbit Hole goes so fucking deep, it's incomprehensible. The purpose of this video is to educate people on this person. It's not meant to harass or make fun of him. Claimer, don't go harass him or other people. I will keep on exposing this individual as I see him as a danger to himself and others. Jason's behavior has gotten more bizarre lately. He still has firearms, he has another dog, and he lives with somebody that's accused of murder. He's a ticking time bomb in my opinion. The fact that he's still on this fucking platform baffles me. I don't want to see innocent people fall victim to him. This video is meant as a one-stop shop for the worst of Blaha's behavior. It's an iceberg video of sorts. All right, gang, thank you to everybody for the support. Thanks to the other creators. Thanks to the members of the movement. Thanks to my subs and the people that watch this video. All right, take care, guys.